Glad to see you again, I said smirking. You're not supposed to be happy to see me, he replied. It's always sighs. I'm different. Now, turn off that open sign and sit. I'll make you a drink. He clicked off the sign, hung his hat upon the rack, and took a seat on the stool at the counter. He likes whiskey, so I put a spritz of water in it to brighten the flavor. He works hard. How many today? I asked, sliding the glass to him. Many, he replied, visibly tired. He slid back the shot and closed his eyes, focusing on the taste. He never said, but I knew his senses were dulled after years of being active. Want another? He didn't respond. Instead, he lit up a cigarette, something he knew wasn't allowed in the bar. I smirked at him as his skinny fingers pulled it away from the puff of smoke, escaping his lips. I'm fine, Jackson. How about a venting session, huh? His suit was drenched from the rain outside. He was stressed. Let me hear it all. I know how tired you must be. He took another hit from the cigarette and looked up at me with dark eyes. It's exhausting. Every day. Every night. Nothing changes. I know my role, but... For once, I'd like to enjoy the day. I'd like to take the time to enjoy... The sun and its warmth. The bliss of a good night's sleep. I haven't slept in years, it seems. Hell... I don't remember the last time I took a nap. I peered out the window at the empty streets. Looks pretty empty to me, I said while flipping off the bar lights. Rest your eyes. I won't tell anybody. Although confused, he was too wary to argue. For the first time, I watched him lay his head down and take a nap. It was surreal. I could feel the weight being lifted off my shoulders and everyone else's. It wasn't a dark or evil feeling. It was more... happiness. I was creating so much happiness and joy for everyone by letting him sleep on my counter. I felt like God. The whole world in my hands. Minutes had passed before he woke up finally. He checked his wristwatch and shook his head to wake himself, stressed once again. Thank you. You're the only one who doesn't treat me like you should. Visit me anytime. In either way, I replied with a smile while turning the chairs on their tables. He gave me the sympathetic look he always did before leaving. I'll be seeing you soon. The doorbell jingled as he exited into the weather. The world once more. He's my favorite customer, oddly enough. It's a thrill to see him come in, as I genuinely don't know what he's there to do. Until he visits next time, I wonder if he'll show up again close to me. Be it a family member, or friend. Or even me. Although he doesn't tip well, death is my favorite customer. Please leave your message 